Hi, Anna Couch here. Today, I'll talk about the anime show The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. The sorcerer of Arvados has grown too powerful and is no longer recognized as human. With no one who can understand him, he decides to reincarnate as an average boy. Reborn as Ard Meteor, he hopes to live an ordinary life. Unfortunately, magical power and education has declined so while his powers would be considered average in the past, in the present, he is once again the strongest warrior and sorcerer. Reaching 10 years old, Ard hopes to make a friend, but his past as the terrifying demon lord means he has no social skills and is seen as creepy by other children. Mayor Allhide, friend to Ard's parents, worries his daughter Irina has become withdrawn after being bullied by her friends for her elf heritage. Ard finds Irina using magic and offers to teach her, but she runs away. Realizing she is Allhide's daughter, Ard persists in trying to be friends with Irina. Goblins escape a nearby dungeon and attack Irina while she is alone in the mountains, but Ard saves her. Irina decides to trust Ard, who is happy he finally made a friend. Several years later, as teenagers and best friends, Irina suggests they join the Academy of Magic. Headmaster Gold immediately enrolls Ard and Irina, as they are the children of the three great heroes, Allhide and Ard's parents, Jack and Carla. Irina protects a succubus named Ginny from Iraldo Spencer, son of a duke whom Ginny's family are servants to and he challenges Ard to duel. Their instructor is Lady Olivia, one of Ard's generals from his previous life. Ard decides to hide his past as Varvados in case she is angry he left to reincarnate. During their duel, Ard realizes Iraldo has been hiding his ordinary magical abilities behind impressive spell names and defeats him. Olivia is suspicious of Ard over his use of lost skills unseen since Demon Lord Varvados. Olivia sends the class to hunt monsters in a dungeon. Ard and Irina form a team with Ginny, but due to years of Iraldo's bullying, Ginny suffers from a severe lack of confidence. Ard teaches with script magic, a lost skill that makes casting spells faster. They are attacked by the dungeon's boss, a Minotaur. Ard allows Ginny to deal a killing blow with script magic, and she feels pride for the first time as they become friends. Ginny finally stands up to Iraldo and slaps him, humiliating him. Before Ard can escape, Olivia grabs him for a private conversation. Olivia drags Ard to Gold who asks him to participate in the Academy Duel event and impress the Queen to secure additional Academy funding. Ginny asks him on a date and Irina insists on joining them, which Ginny accepts as she is happy to share Ard and plans to create a harem for him, which Irina violently opposes. During the date they attend a theatrical performance about Varvados, though Ard is depressed at how it portrays Lydia, his deceased lover, as sweet and romantic when she was a proud warrior. Ard happens to overhear a cultist group planning to kidnap the Queen during the duel event and follows them underground. They are captured and reveal they lured them there to kill Ard. However, Ard defeats them easily, except the leader, who is revealed to be a demon in disguise. He flees to the streets where Ard destroys him and is celebrated by the crowd. For his heroics, they are summoned by Queen Rosie, a friend of Irina's, who at first jokes she shall take Ard as her husband to annoy Irina, but instead grants the Academy its funding, promotes Ard and Irina to Pentagon-class mages and Ginny to Triangle Mage. The surviving cultists reveal they plan to fail so as to measure Ard's strength as part of their plot to help their master rule the world. A student later revealed to be named Lemming confesses her love to Ard, though purely to enhance her own reputation, and is scared off by a jealous Irina. Having secured the funding already, Ard refuses to participate in the duel event, Disappointing Gold, who had hoped Ard would impress the nobles enough to promote Ard to an academy instructor. Ginny tries to seduce Ard. Irina arrives, having planned to do something similar as an apology for her jealousy, but becomes angrier when she sees Ginny. They decide to duel over Ard, but before Ard can forbid them, they are found by Professor Jessica, who explains Gold's plan to make Ard an instructor and decides they will duel at the duel event in front of Queen Rosie. At the duel event, Ard is depressed. Three of the judges are his parents and Irina's father, Allhide. Due to having learned lost skills from Ard, both Irina and Ginny win their matches against other students. Before their own duel begins, demon cultists appear in the audience and Jessica stabs Allhide in the back, revealing she is actually Elzer, the friends of Dragon King, and her plan the whole time was to kidnap Irina. Ginny is hurt protecting Irina and cannot stop Elzer from abducting Irina. Ard heals Allhide's injuries and he gives Ard access to the royal armory so he can rescue Irina. Ulzard prepares to sacrifice Irina to a monster called the Orphan of Chaos as a ritual to summon an evil god and destroy the world that she hates. After promising Ginny that he will save Irina, Ard arrives in time to kill a monster and Ulzard's followers. Ulzard tries to turn him against Irina by revealing Irina's family is the true royal family and are descendants of the evil gods, but he does not care. They battle, and he impales Elzard, but she reverts to her true dragon form and attacks again. 
Ard summons an apparition of Lydia to fight by his side and reverts to his Varvatos form. He deduces that Elzard's true motivation was loneliness, but that was no excuse for threatening Irina and he slays her. Lydia disappears and Ard reverts to normal. As they walk home, Irina is frightened of him at first, but remembers that he accepted her even after learning her secret and vows to become strong enough to fight by his side. A young girl named Sylphie emerges from a dungeon to find the world has changed. A masked man informs her time moves differently within that particular dungeon. So while she was inside 3,000 years and passed by, he reveals Varvatos and her sister Lydia both died long ago, but Varvatos' soul has reincarnated as Ard Meir. The Academy will soon hold a festival including a stage performance, which Gold wants Ard to perform in. He also reveals they have received a threat from someone named Lars Al Ghul. Sylphie confronts Ard about his reincarnation and what happened to Lydia, but Ard feigns ignorance while Olivia, who knew Sylphie 3,000 years ago, is very interested in Sylphie's claims. Sylphie challenges Ard to a duel, and when Ard wins, Sylphie loses her temper, earning a scolding from Irina, making Sylphie cry as Irina reminds her of Lydia. Ard's class decide the performance should be on the life of Varvatos, with Ard as Varvatos by popular demand, Irina as Lydia, and Sylphie as the evil god. For their class project, they decide to host a maid cafe during the festival with the maids in very risque outfits designed by Ginny, which the girls only agree to wear after learning they would be allowed to serve Ard. The masked man watches all this, looking forward to how Sylphie will react when she learns what really happened 3,000 years ago. Sylphie causes chaos at the festival and is sent to the maid cafe. Ard comes across a tree rumored to contain an item sealed by the Great Sword King. Olivia reveals she entered the Great Sword King tournament and entered Ard against his wishes. The tournament prize is a replica of Val Galgus, the sword wielded by the Great Sword King, which originally was Lydia's. Olivia, Irina, Ard, Sylphie, and Ginny win their tournament duels and become finalists. Ginny asks Ard to compete with her at a Miss and Mr. Beauty contest. Ard spots Eraldo at the beauty contest who confesses when he and Ginny were children he was her friend, but his father taught him anyone not nobility was inferior, which led to him bullying her. He hopes one day to apologize and be forgiven. Ard feels guilty he still has not told Sylphie the truth. Ard and Ginny win the contest, infuriating Irina who wanted to compete. Ard faces Olivia the next duel, who tries to force him to reveal his power. Ard refuses and accidentally blasts Olivia far away. They are both disqualified, Ard for cheating and Olivia for not making it back in time. Irina duels Ginny, continuing their argument over Ginny's harem plan until Irina is victorious. The masked man is disappointed at events so far and decides to manipulate them a little. Ard realizes the stage performance is based on the Battle of Avia de Saviers, which he won thanks to Sylphie laying magical traps on the battlefield and claiming the enemy commander's sword demise argues for herself. The masked man approaches Sylphie. The next day, Sylphie wins her final match against Irina, claiming the Vald Galgus replica. Ard meets her by the tree where she reveals the replica is actually the real Vald Galgus and the item sealed in the tree is its power source. She combines the two into the complete Vald Galgus and also summons Demise Argus before trying to kill Ard. The masked man watches with joy, revealing he placed Sylphie under mind control and showed her a memory of Ard murdering Lydia. Ard reverts to his Varvato's form and the mind control is broken when Sylphie hears Lydia's voice. Disappointed, the masked man retrieves the two swords to kill Ard himself, revealing he needs to sacrifice Irina to resurrect his true master. The two swords reject him as he is not powerful enough to wield them, so Ard destroys him. The Lydia apparition appears and tells Sylphie her death was not Ard's fault and to focus on living a full life. Ard is not surprised Lydia calls him a dumbass before disappearing. The class is on a field trip when time suddenly freezes except for Ard, Irina, and Ginny. Then they get sent to a white void and need a boy claiming to be a god. The boy says a being will meet Varvatos and attempt to destroy the world and ask them to defeat it. They wake up in the wilderness and see two moons in the sky, so Ard realizes they were sent to the distant past of Varvatos' reign and explains one of the moons was destroyed. They rescue a girl from a giant scorpion. Olivia arrives and thanks them for saving her subordinate, then asks them to join Varvatos' army as they are at war with otherworldly beings. They accept local clothing from her and are requests that they serve under the scholar Verda, since she doesn't fight on the front lines and the girls should be safe. Irina and Ginny inadvertently insult Verda when they don't recognize her since she doesn't resemble her image in historical records. They explain they are from the future and Verda promises to help them. Sylphie and Lydia show up to request reinforcements, but Lydia becomes attracted to Ginny and sexually harasses her. Ard interferes and Lydia angrily challenges him to a fight that ends in a draw. Ard requests an audience with Varvatos, but Lydia says they will have to prove themselves in battle. 
The group stays in a girl named Latima's house, and Lydia sexually harasses Ginny in the bath. They later enter battle, and Ard effortlessly captures the enemy general, impressing Lydia enough to grant them an audience with Varvados and making Slyfy jealous. Along the way, Alvardo picks a fight with Ard, but Varvados and Lydia scold and dismiss him. Ard becomes slightly jealous of his past self when Irina and Ginny become attracted to him. To the trio's confusion, Varvados is not called the Demon Lord and says the enemy's leader has that title. After Varvados dismisses them, they discuss the inconsistencies with Verda, who speculates that the Demon Lord whom Varvados fought to a draw in the past is the being that God wanted them to stop and is changing history. Ginny suggests telling Varvados the truth, but they will need to do something impressive to meet him again. Ard leaves Irina and Ginny behind to join Lydia and Slyphy on a raid of Mavilla's the Cursed King, who Ard remembers as the one who cursed Lydia and forced Varvados to kill her. However, when they arrive at his stronghold, Mavillas has already been killed by a dark, armored knight, the demon lord who declares that he will defeat Varvados and conquer the world before disappearing. Ard is confused at the orders of God to repair history as it would mean killing many people who are now alive, including Lydia. The demon lord appears to Ard and reveals he is also Ard, but from an imminent future where, after losing everything, he changed his name from Ard to Disaster Rogue, he too has been sent back in time by God, but with the mission of destroying the world and battling Varvados, but the guilt over his mistakes is too much so he intends to save Lydia and then die in battle against her. He gives Ard time to consider joining him before vanishing. Later, Lydia asks what is troubling him and Ard cryptically asks what she would do if she had to die to fix a mistake. She takes him to a town she had to destroy during the war, massacring even the children and explains due to guilt she has already decided she will one day die in complete obscurity, once the world is finally at peace. During the next battle, Ard sneaks away to meet Disaster Rogue and explains he will not deny Lydia her own repentance and will allow her to die. Disaster Rogue attacks him, but due to their identical abilities, neither can win until Disaster Rogue reveals he arranged for the battle to occur at the same time as their duel to distract him. Irina is upset that Ard left her and Ginny behind, then Latima takes them on a mission to destroy a crystal that is the source of Disaster Rogue's immortality. However, when they reach it, Latima betrays them and binds them to magic nullifying crosses, revealing she is working for Disaster Rogue. Disaster Rogue shows Ard the captive girls and orders Ard to join him or they will die, saying he will kill anyone just to save Lydia. Irina and Ginny escape the crosses using a typical magic taught by Ard. Undaunted, Latima summons a squad of monsters, saying she will kill anyone just to save Lydia. Lydia arrives as she had put tracking devices on the two, defeats the monsters and knocks Latima out, then destroys the crystal. After losing his immortality, Disaster Rogue attacks Ard in a rage. They both remember a time they had a fight with Lydia that they regret. An apparition of Lydia restrains Disaster Rogue, allowing Ard to kill him. As soon as he dies, Ard, Irina, and Ginny start disappearing. Lydia, who knew they were from the future, asks the two girls if the people are happy in the future. When they confirm it, she asks them to pass a message to Ard. In the White Void, the god thanks Ard for succeeding. He will not identify himself, but says he is an ally. The trio wake up in the present shortly after they left, while Olivia and Slyphy berate them for falling asleep. Irina passes Lydia's message. No matter what happens, it will always be friends. Ard is happy when he sees the apparition of Lydia watching over him. This is the end. Thank you guys for watching and please consider subscribing for future content.